we are on Stroud Station and it's one of the main gateways into the town. Half a million people come through this station a year. Much of it was designed by Brunel in the 1840s and it's a real treasure. We've got a problem here though. Many people who come to the station have heavy bags, maybe are wheelchair users, have buggies. It is very difficult if you're disabled and you've got a stick and a handbag and a suitcase. Our problem is that we have a bridge here and that's the only way to cross from one platform to the other. I have slight accessibility problems. I find the stairs really difficult. You have no choice but to try and get over the footbridge and I have to say I do find it quite difficult to get around here. If you're at all frail, this is a daunting prospect and it puts people off using the railway. There are more and more older people and then different organisations need to think more and more about how to make things work for older people. Thankfully we were travelling light but you know imagine carrying like a 23 or a 32 kilos in a bag or something it would have been difficult. So this definitely needs improvement. It's quite disheartening that after all these years of disability discrimination acts, of equality acts, we still have this bridge with no easy access for anybody who's having trouble with steps. It's very important for me that things are done properly and done professionally. We realised that to get back to Cheltenham we needed to get onto the other side. Um, so I looked for a lift which you couldn't find. There's no like signs or anything to tell you where you're going so you're going to get a bit stuck aren't you? I'm just thinking how this station would work if I'd arrived with somebody who's a wheelchair user. I can see some nice disabled signs. Oh, that's just for parking. Oh, look. There, just behind the taxi, it says if you're unable to use the footbridge, please use the alternative access shown below. It's a bit rubbish, isn't it? It's not very easily signposted. This is a diagrammatic map, and it's, it's extremely inaccurate. Our offer at Stroud to a disabled person is, is appalling and I'm really ashamed of it. I can't get my wheelchair up the, up the drop curb because there's no drop curb there, so it's pointless. It's shocking actually, I don't think I've come across anything this bad with Christian since I've been working with you. Do you, do you think? Which is what, about... Well, that, you've been with me just over a year, haven't you? Yeah. And both me even... and Molly haven't come across anything this bad in the whole time we've been doing the job. So we can't actually get on to that curb. So we're going to have to try and battle the, the rubbish that's been left outside this door. stairs could be solved by having a lift either side that joins onto the bridge and there is some land here at the back so there's a possibility of using some of this land where the hedge is to put in a lift you have access straight away to the whole bridge right across and there's plenty of land on the other side it would hardly compromise the bridge at all. Glass lifts can function as their own structure, so the lift itself can be a structure and it attaches only at the top. So, done that way? They need to put some clear signs. The blue badge signs and arrows so that people know exactly 
Where they go. Where they go. GWR says, with every smile we give, every bag we carry, we want your journey with us to be the best it can be. We want it to be the best it can be too. And the County Council will work with delivery partners to maximise the desirability, demand and customer experience of using railway stations within Gloucestershire. So can we have our station maximised, please? May I have your attention, please? Customers are reminded to mind the gap between the train and platform edge when boarding. Disability Act 1995, Equalities Act 2010, now it's 2018, it's just very slow. No toilets on this side. No toilets so. on this side. No good. You've got a waiting room and that's it. So you've got, mm. you've got a vending machine there if you wanted to have some, uh, mm. <laughs> some chocolate. Mm. It's not great I'm afraid, shall we? No. How do we make this happen? From a town council's point of view, we're working really closely on looking at a master plan for the whole station. And we need the support, the help, the dynamism, the ingenuity and the engineering ingenuity of GWR and Network Rail. We need that conversation with them. We are putting together a plan that's going to enhance this station and increase use that can only be good for the franchise holders and for Network Rail. I just want people to be able to, you know, like, get out and about on the trains.